Here are a couple of simple but important tips for building with VEX parts. First, screws are used to hold the metal VEX structure parts together. <clears throat> we have several different size screws. It is much faster to put smaller screws in, but you have to make sure that they can hold the load. Okay? If you use a big screw, it takes a long time to put the nut all the way on. If you use a smaller screw, you are done much faster. Make sure that you pick a size screw that will support the weight and the nut will not fall off. Be sure that the washer on the nut is facing the metal. Most of the time, you can tighten the screw by using your hand to tighten the nut, and then use the wrenches to hold the nut in place as you tighten. If you have difficulty, we have wrenches that can hold the nut, and then you can tighten up the screw. Do not over tighten. We will use two different size Allen wrenches, 332nd and 564th. To see which is bigger, you can manipulate these fractions to make them both have the same denominator and compare the size of the numerator. Or you can just look at this pie chart that shows that 564th is slightly smaller. You can hold them side by side and see that the 564th is slightly smaller. You can also just read the handle. If you find that the wrench is too big or too small, then use the other wrench. The handle of the wrench provides a lot of torque on these small screws. You can easily damage the screws or the wrench itself by over tightening the screws, including the little set screws on the collars. When using the collars, be sure you do not over tighten. Just make it tight. Once you feel resistance, you can stop tightening. Also, make sure that when removing the collar, you do not remove the entire set screw. They are very small and hard to find on the floor. If you pop a set screw out, just put it back in. We have different size axles. We have smaller ones, medium size, and larger axles. There's too much friction when a square axle is trying to spin in a square hole. The bearing reduces that friction by making the square axle spin in a circular hole. The bearing can be placed on either side of the metal. Place it in a more convenient spot. An axle should never touch metal. It doesn't matter which hole you put the axle in. You can put it in the center one or one of the end ones. It doesn't matter as long as you have two screws in the other holes. I made a support. There's one screw here. I could put the second screw in the middle or at the bottom. I'm going to put it at the bottom. If you don't have metal collars, then your gears and axles will not remain in good contact. Once again, when using collars, be sure you do not over tighten the set screw. You just want to tighten it until there is resistance.
Also, make sure that when removing the set screw, you do not remove the entire set screw. They are very small and hard to find on the floor. If you do pop out a set screw, just put it back in. If an axle is only supported in one spot, like this, it is going to pivot. That means your gears will not stay in good contact. You need to support an axle in two spots to reduce that rotation and keep the gears in good contact. Here I've added a second support and now the gear will not rattle. It's also a good idea to link the supports together. We have different bar, different size bars that can do that. So I could put this across and that will give it even more, make it even more stable. So I've added extra support to keep my axle from rotating, but I hear over here I have metal on metal contact because I need another bearing. So I'm going to add this bearing on this side of the axle. Okay, I'll add in two screws and this will spin nice and freely without rotating. 